Do you guys want to talk about the opinion segment? Let's do it. That was a rhetorical question, I know, but um, yeah. So if I may venture an opinion. I'm not really interested in your opinion, 3 p.m. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. All right, so some people are saying Love that, quote. that this year's Bama team is the best to ever play college football, which is crazy when you consider – that we said the exact same thing about LSU last year and thought that we would never see anything like it. So mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, Jesse, I know what your opinion is, but well, I think I know. I'm, I don't want to speak. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But um, so like Mac Jones was indicating that as well, uh, saying that you know we played an all SEC schedule. Uh, you, you'll never see anything like this again with the all SEC schedule. Ho hopefully, we don't see that again. Um, and uh, please, I God, like no. It. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, and then some other, you know, Bama players are obviously agreeing with that. Now, Joe Burrow had this to say. Uh, I think he said, I think everyone knows the answer to that question. I don't even have to say it. So, obviously, it looks like Joe Burrow disagrees as well he should. But, uh, but Matt, I want to start with you first on, on, that. on this one. But uh, do you think, in your opinion, that it is the, this is the best team to ever play college football, this year's Bama team? Uh Listen, I've been listening to that since last night. Um, I'm, and I don't understand the mentality where you can come from because when you can't, you got to be more precise about. And granted, it's legalistic to have this viewpoint, but you can't say the best team ever. Top, like you got to quantify that somehow. You got to be like, well, what do you mean? You mean offensively, like offensive production? Sure. Uh, points scored per game? Sure. You look at the average overall? Sure. You can look at all that different stuff. But you also have to remember that the game now is completely different than the game was even 10 years ago. It's a completely different thing. It's, and I, it's cliche to say this, it's apples to oranges. You can't match them up. Um, it's just, I never really cared much for that. This Bama team was really, really good. They were the best team this year, as we saw. Um, but I don't think you can make the claim they're the best ever, simply because you can't, you can't there's no way to, to test that. There's no way to kind of, evaluate how they are the best team ever per se yeah i know I, I i agree with that and you know it's just like you said it's hard to say the game is geared so much towards offense now um that it's really hard uh to say the defense for bama this year also as you said was sus and uh <laughs> so uh i mean if, if i were to nitpick and it is nitpicking really if you uh, want to get down to it as far as the defense because you know obviously the team was so good overall but that was an area that had struggled now that said they did shore things up along the way and got better as the season went along it seems defensively adjusted uh, very well yeah so um i don't know um i don't know that you could say like you said uh, quantifiably that they're the best team uh but you know you'd, you'd have to put them up there especially considering um everything that everyone went through this year because uh, you had not just the the games, but you had the added mental and emotional aspect of, you know, COVID and, and everything else going on. So Jesse, I want to give you the last word on this one. Yeah. I mean, I'm like going back and forth on my second screen, looking at um, the Tigers team stats from last year and mm -hmm. Alabama's team stats from this year and comparing, and they are eerily similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, like there's, you know, point one of a difference here one point difference here they're super super similar um I think the only the biggest difference is uh points for for LSU is 726 whereas for Bama it's 630 um but their points against for Bama 252 um, um points against for LSU 328 those are the biggest differences but when you look at you know everything else is super super similar I will say Alabama and everybody's situation this year was so different than any other year ever. Um, we got what we always wanted. We always wanted to say, well, you know, we play all these other teams from different conferences and it's hard to, to look and see who's the best because we just need to play an all SEC schedule because we're the best, we're the toughest, blah, blah, blah. We'll knock each other out. We'll figure it out. Um, and we got that. Now, it may not have turned out the way other teams in the conference wanted it to turn out, but I think we got a pretty good look 
at who the best in every conference was and then who beat the best out of those conferences. Um, so to me, that's really telling. Again, I, I don't want to take away anything from the the LSU team of last year. And of course, Mac Jones is, is a stud at quarterback. But I think overall, we saw on Bama's side, and I know it's going to sound biased because I'm saying it, but overall, you know, we weren't just relying on one person to get it done. I felt like a lot of times it was like all on Joe Burrow to get it done. And I feel like overall we had a more complete team. Um, maybe not necessarily with the defense, but I still feel like uh, LSU allowed a lot of points scored against them. At least they did in the Alabama <clears throat> game. Whereas we didn't really let people score that many points against us outside of Ole Miss, oddly enough. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, no I, offense. That was going to happen. I know. I just, I don't know. I think, like I said earlier, I think this Alabama team is, is truly a special team. And, and I would love to see them play last year's um, Tigers. I know we technically did, but I'm saying this year's team with that development. That right. Team. Yeah. Um, you know, you're talking about not doing it all by, by himself. Uh, I was thinking about Najee and uh, it, it looks like he's projected to go uh, mid to lower round in the, in the uh, first round. Uh, and that's about the slot where the Steelers are. So I'm really hoping for, for that. That'd be that'd be a good uh, a good addition, I think, for the be offense. Great. So. great, I pray to the Lord above that somehow I don't want Mac Jones to fall like in the draft. I just no, I really want the Patriots <laughs> to nah. get Mac Jones, and I don't even know if he would do well in the Patriots system. Um, right. But hopefully, he's already used to a coach like Bill Belichick because Bill and Nick are besties. So. The same person. Because they're the same person. They were in the oh. same room together. Didn't you see the uh, documentary? Listen, hey, hey, listen. Phones. You can do anything with the magic of TV, okay? <laughs> I don't believe for a second those are two separate guys. This is the same bloody guy. <laughs> Nick at least wears polos. Bill does. I was say, doesn't. Very different fashion styles, both of them. So uh, Very different uh, also, like, marriage style. <laughs> Yeah, like Miss Terry and Nick five ever, and then like Bill's been divorced, and like how's a younger mm. girl run? Oh. <laughs> you know, this is different. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, that's uh, I, I I really enjoy that uh, that conversation though because I mean it's worth it. It's worth having the discussion because uh, they yeah. were a good they were a good team, and the stats are there, like you said, eerily similar. So.